isn't a whisper asmr but i just wanted to say hi make sure to like subscribe comment share all the things i know it's been a while since we've done a video so welcome back i'm so happy you're here if you're watching this we're just starting off the video by saying hi to the most important member of our crew clementine the cat i just recently got this little to-do list pad from laurel may art on etsy i'll link her below um, and I've really been enjoying kind of just the night before writing out everything I need to do today and just filling it out with a, a nice checklist so I don't get overwhelmed because once, you know, once you write everything down, it makes it less stressful. So my top priority today is just to prep for the shop update launch coming soon. Um, and I've already finished a couple things on my list, so I went ahead and crossed those off. But there's a little section on the side for notes, so I make sure to just write some encouraging things for my day. But let's keep checking stuff off and getting stuff done. One of my favorite things to make and sell on Etsy are fonts. So today I'm actually working on a couple new font designs that I'll be releasing in my upcoming shop update. It's super easy to make your own font, actually. Um, I'm, this is not a super detailed tutorial or anything, but I will put the website I use linked below. It's called Calligrapher. It's pretty user-friendly, pretty self-explanatory, and I didn't watch any videos to figure out how to use it. And you know, I was able to figure it out just fine. And it's all free, so that's awesome and wonderful. It's super easy to do digital files on Etsy because, you know, then it cuts down on the workload. You don't have to pack an order. Someone just buys the font and downloads the file directly, and it's not a whole lot of work on my part. And then, you know, I get to see people using the font, and that is super awesome and exciting. So it's sometimes hard to come up with new ideas for fonts, I will admit. So I always try and mix them up a little bit with the width of my pen and the loops and swirls and things like that. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here is making a brand new font for you guys. I think I'm going to call her Angie. So if you see an Angie font for sale, that's this gal. Just work on some administrative stuff now. It's replying to some messages on Etsy. I really just love to include these clips of me typing so you can hear the sound my keyboard makes. Just while we, you know, sit and watch me type, I thought I'd give you a quick life update. I got my first dose of the vaccine recently. It went super well. I felt totally fine. My arm was the tiniest bit sore after, but it did not last more than a couple hours. And it's just so exciting to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and know that, you know, lockdown is probably going to be ending in the next couple months, which is just so exciting. Um, Claire and Clementine is turning one in a couple months at the end of June, which is just so crazy to me because it's felt like both an eternity since I started and a matter of days. So I just feel so excited about that, that it's going to be a year. But that's kind of all that's going on in my life. If you guys have any fun summer plans or hobbies you want to pick up or anything like that, I always love hearing about that in the comments. So let me know. Thank you. 
now the moment we have all been waiting for my stamp from Vistaprint. This is not sponsored by Vistaprint or anything, but I just absolutely love this stamp. I drew the design myself. I think I drew it in my last studio vlog and then it came and then now here it is. So I'm just gonna sit here and stamp the back of a bunch of envelopes so that they're ready to go when I go to pack orders. Um, and yeah, this stamp is just my new favorite thing. So let's have a, a little stamp montage. So I've got to clear everything off my desk to pack bigger orders like sweatshirts just so that I can have a nice clean surface and things aren't getting in the way. This order is for a dear friend from Instagram named Emma and she ordered two dog mom hoodies and some stickers of her dogs and then some other stickers that I sell. So I'm gonna just box this up for Emma. She already received it in the mail when you're seeing this, so it's a little bit late, but I was just so excited to send this to her. I've actually never had someone order two sweatshirts before, so I didn't have the packaging supplies big enough to hold the sweatshirts. So I'm just reusing the box that the sweatshirts got sent to me in. So hopefully one day I can get some nice, pretty boxes for if people order more than one sweatshirt, but so far she's been the only one, so I haven't invested in that big of packaging. I just have some poly mailers that I use. Thank you so much, Emma, for ordering this. I'm so excited that you got it and that you liked it. After packing bigger orders like sweatshirts and crewnecks, I go ahead and do all of the sticker orders that are small enough to fit in an envelope with a stamp. Um, thank you to everyone who's ordered stickers. One of the things I'm going to be selling on my Etsy in a couple weeks is this super cute cat cafe sticker sheet. Let me focus it so you can see better. Um, but when I print them and peel them off the Cricut mat, sometimes they get a little bit wavy on the corners and they don't lay perfectly flat. So before I take product pictures of this guy, I am going to smash him flat with the entire volume collection of Calvin and Hobbes because it is the only thing I own heavy enough to do the trick. So these are gonna just flatten for an hour or so. While the Cat Cafe sticker sheet flattens itself out, um, I'm going to be working on yet another product that's going to be released soon on my shop update. So I decided that this shop update would be mostly digital products with a few physical products like that sticker sheet. So these are actually going to be some Instagram highlight covers. So I made some personalized Instagram highlight covers for myself and my Instagram at Claire and Clementine if you want to go follow it. Um, and I just really loved how they turned out. So I thought maybe I could do something similar and sell them. So there's just going to be, I think, I haven't quite decided yet, but a couple different color combos, a couple different pattern designs. I'm not sure how many will be in a pack or exactly what I'm going to sell them as. And TBH? I'm not 100% sure I'll end up selling them. I probably will, because I already said I would on Instagram and I don't want to let people down. But... That's just what I'm working on here. So I'll speed up the clip and we can get rolling with those.
Hello again. It's the same video, but it's a brand new day and it's finally sunny enough for me to take some good product photos, so we're gonna do that now. Well, that concludes today's studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, you are absolutely amazing. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and come back next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.